For example, a young woman at the window. Yes. Um, William, Carlos William, he reads it as though it was just one big enchantment, you know. But the way you're supposed to read it, I think, is, you know, with pauses at the end of each line break. Yes, yes, exactly. It, it, it's very strange, I find. Does anyone else think it is? Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you brought this question to us. So, Dan Bergman, you have something to say. Dan, uh, Dan says, or more importantly, spelled out, I have to have everything read aloud. Uh, I have to have everything read aloud. I like to have it read three times. Mm. Once with the line breaks, then as in prose, and then a third time as with modest line breaks. Mm. Also rhythm like pentameter, the same thing. So reading it very clearly yeah. with the line breaks and rhythms and then as if it were prose, and then again with just a gentle inflection from those things. And reading we have, it, we have learned to read to Dan that way. And reading it more than once seems really key also. Eric, Eric Allen Weinstein has something to say. Um, yeah, I think breath was very important to the beats, and they were always listening for their own breath and capturing both the, the, the breath that they expressed verbally and the breath of thought. Um, so that it was very important to them to capture the form of their thoughts as they were happening mm. and then render them into speech as they thought them. Um, will this make it any easier to think about line breaks? No, it will not. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I do think if you want to talk about paying attention to form, um, you can often recapture the way Ginsburg would have read a poem or Kerouac would have read something by listening to the breath. Mm, nice, nice. So something Eric just said about paying attention to form and its its significance, its meaning, Mandana, I'm wondering what your thoughts are on the matter of the line break as content. So in Modpo we, we say a lot about uh, sort of a line we use a lot is it's not it's not what you say it's the how of what you say it is is this relevant to our discussion yes I think say? so but for me I have to be honest a lot of times I look at the line breaks uh, not as hard and fast punctuation mm. it's just where it, it happened to break and you have to as Daniel said reread it again and again to see perhaps where the natural line break is for you also when you come to a poem you're coming as an individual that day where you are emotionally or personally. Mm -hmm. And I'll read poems I've read before very differently on a day for, for some reason because it's raining or something like that. So I think we are always changing, so how we're reading the poems is always changing. And that includes how we read their form. Right? Exactly. That, whether we race through those line breaks or well, take a minute to You pause. know, here's the thing. We're in modern and contemporary poetry. I think if you're looking at something a little more classical, the like the the different ways that people speak is very defined. And I think with this, going back to the comment of being playful, you can be a little more playful with this. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when we were doing, let's say, uh, We Real Cool from Gwendolyn Brooks, the way she says it is differently than the way I would say it. Mm -hmm. But it still has value, however way you say it. Absolutely. Nice. 